Here we go. New demo. Um, yeah, play for my controller so I don't have to listen to it. The new demo. Here we go. Hey, check it out. Oh, wow. Oh, this is looking quite good. Just them? Guess so. Bye bye. Oh my god. He ain't coming back. The bird is huge. It's that city they're headed to. Is that Junar? Shinra territory. Come on. Okay, this is looking a lot better than the old demo I played. 100%. Welcome back to the stage of history. 100%. And yeah, it's still a little soft. Don't get me wrong, but... I think they have... They have achieved a pretty decent... Look how big the map is, too. I think they've achieved a pretty decent happy medium. It looks way better than previous. I'm seeing an increase, that's for sure. Yeah. Performance, performance mode last year during September was bad. It looked very rough. ...said to roost on the island's abandoned reactor. No, there's no longer any way to reach the Isle. Or at least, none that I'm aware of. They just finally reclaimed what Shinra stole. Well, even if we could get there, I found... Red 13 talking about... Very friendly. Uh, Fort Condor. Let's focus on where we can go. Yeah, this is very playable. It looks like it's running pretty good 60. It ain't bad. Let's mess around with this a little bit just because we have to. This will be very jarring, but... This will be jarring, but damn, yeah, that fidelity. You definitely notice it. So I think what... what I'm, you know what I'm absolutely noticing the difference is? In the graphics mode, in 4K mode. Um, no shit. The game actually looks like it's 4K now. It does. It looks mad crispy, dude. It looks really good. You just, we just had to let our eyes adjust to the 30 FPS. That's pretty much it. all that noise. Oh, it's the, uh, the sign. Is the grass moving? Oh, definitely not, dude. No, 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 we already confirmed that. The grass is not moving. Your eyes get used to this. It does. Tifa making all these big jumps. <laughs> Dang, man. Yeah, this is looking quite crispy. MP up materia earrings? MP up materia earrings?
Earrings which incorporate an orb of MP up materia into the design? Huh. Increases maximum MP by 30%. That's weird. But cool. What material do you have to give us to work with? Healing. Limit siphon. Allows you to absorb an ally's limit gauge to fill your own. Huh? Prayer is back. We got Comet in here. Red 13 has Comet materia. Do we have Empowerment? Bravery and Faith. There's one of those materials that was in the early demo um, that allowed us to buff out Comet. Turn it into a Comet like Meteor. How weird. So, this will be jarring. It's funny. You switch back to performance mode, everything looks soft. You switch back to graphics mode, everything looks choppy. Oh no, this is looking quite good. Oh shit. Oh no, dude, I'm kind of down with this. So, uh, the way it the way it worked in the in uh, in intermission on PS5 was performance mode ran between 1080p and 1440p. I had to look this up. So it was a dynamic 1080 or 1440. And I'm 99% sure that's what's happening right now because sometimes it looks really crispy. And then other times it looks like it drops a little bit. However, performance mode is way better. It's definitely better. Better to play classic or active. They're kind of like different games. Chocobos can swim. Yeah. What are you setting on for release? I don't know, but this is looking very good, man. This might be my option. Cannot go any further in this demo. Yeah, it's the exact same demo I played in September. And then it got it got a little a little lower res or over here with all the grass and shit. It did. I, I, I literally just watched it drop. Resolution. I, I watched it drop resolution all of a sudden. It's at 1440 sometimes and then it drops down to 1080. I think I just watched it happen. Yeah, this area over here. Look, dude. Check it out. Look at Cloud's fucking face. Check it out, dude. We literally saw it happen. It's running at the lowest resolution right now. Because... There's too much geometry happening in this side. What the fuck are those? What the fuck are those? Those were not in the demo before, bro. Dude, did they add buff-ass enemies so that we can actually fight things? Oh shit, they might have. Dangerous fiend detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you're prepared for before engaging. Let's bring them some understandable confusion. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. Hello. Your monster assessment. Yes, my. I turned your voice off. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analysis on the encounter. Yeah, I know. I'm aware how that works. Fiends from this place. Oh, shit. So, commands menu. Um, how do we swap parties? Oh, I called the joke upon accident. I'll play red and 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 Aerith. Chocobo, you're gonna want to get out of here. Trust me. Oh my god. You're up. Okay. 
Spellblade. Aerith, what are you doing to me? Oh God. God damn, bro. Don't overdo it. I don't have any of my stuff. Yes, I know how to play Aerith. Slightly aware. Oh my God. Oh, that's right. This changed. She has different things. God. Okay. So much stuff. This this a lot is different. For sure. Radiant War strengthens Aerith's, Aerith's basic attack. Huh. Oh god, I what the hell? This is crazy. Okay, get my ass kicked though. Yeah. here, boys. smash. Okay, I better heal or some shit, right? Oh, this game's gonna be fucking sick, dude. We need to do planetary planetary roar abilities. Uh, let's pray. Let's do it. Well, that was cool. Uh, well, that was pretty sick. All right. There's new enemies, dude. There is new enemies. Hey, look. Look at that. Can I go up there? They gonna let me go up there? Will you let me up here? Oh, my choke my chicken can't do it. My chicken cannot do it. I can just do this on top of this attack now. Oh shit, that's how I get it. Sorry, now I can teleport to it? Oh man. All right. All right, that's cool. So you just hold down the attack button and now you get the big old charge spell. Oh shit. Oh shit. So how do I uh, swap out my party? There's a way to do it. Let's do... Um, Oh, you know what? It might not be in this demo. Yeah. It might not actually be here. I think that's for the final day, the final game. Edit party? Backline. Can you not? There it is. R1. There we go. 
So these, these combat settings allow us to cycle through and get different party configurations like immediately. Um, it is in here. There we go. So Cloud Barret Red 13, Cloud Red 13 Aerith, Cloud Aerith Tifa. Done. And that's how you switch parties. Like quickly and on the fly. Don't need to go into a menu. Don't got to do nothing. No PHS. None of that shit. Can't change them during combat though. Right. So, but, but if you're like, oh, I see some bitch ass enemy that I need Tifa for. You just switch to your Tifa party. Cloud is always in the party. I'm pretty sure. And I don't want to know otherwise. No spoilers. Everyone is with you at all times, yeah. Hold on, chap. Well, look at that. Another Chocobo Ranch. I wonder where the owner's hiding. Howdy! Care to give our wares a once-over? Same stuff, okay. Give that bird a pat on the head for me, will ya? Yep. Chicken gear. So crazy. Pimp your chicken. Pimp your chick. Oh. Da. Noise. Where are you taking me? I haven't seen this in a while. Oh, this is looking nice over here, bro. Yeah, okay. You get to some spots of the map and it gets a bit more crispy. It just does. When there's too much geometry and too much shit that you have to look at, the image just gets soft. Straight up. It's got a dynamic resolution for sure. Oh, let's do this also. Item transmuter. <clears throat> so, um to-do list, right? Let's make a potion. So you get crafting experience, obviously. Okay, so now we leveled up. We can do more stuff. You can now transmute a pair of power wrist guards. What? You can make gear? What? Oh, shit. I didn't know that. I thought it was just for items and shit. Oh, shit. I can make a t-shirt? So I can make... Oh my god, if you want the buff stuff, you gotta level up your craftsmanship. Wow. Let's just make this. Can I? No, I can't do it. The items are dark because I can't make them yet. I'm unable to, but I learned a bunch of new things. Like a, uh... Mixed high potion? No, I don't have shit to make it. Okay. Alright. Cool. Excuse me? Why did I put it down? I was holding the button down. So, new fast travel. 
get a golden plume out of these. Rest stop. But now you don't... Ah, now you just... The, a bench is an oh, holy bench, recover thine HP. Uh, it doesn't work that way anymore. The benches only recover HP if you use like a quote-unquote cushion or tent. So that's how the tents work. All necessary gathers for a cushion to-do list. Oh shit, well I'll shut the hell up. Make one of these. Free Roman chickens? Uh, in fact, I remember... Let me show you guys a little trick for the game later on. I remember running around this area and... Aha, there it is. Um, sniff. You have to hold it, you have to hold it down. And you hold it down and then it finds the path. There you go. Four rubies. Just chillin'. Timmy, thank you. So, I think people that were not sold on this game, because this is running so much better, so much better than it was back when I played it. Like, ridiculously better. I think this is what is going to sell a lot of people on this game. This, this environment will do it. Just getting a little bit of a taste of how, like, a big environment works. This will do it. Imagine having a PC. I can, I can only imagine, brother. I can only imagine having a PC version of this. Yeah. Rare Zemzalit variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Sages of the sky is only because of their intelligence, the remarkable feathers that make them both elegant and lethal. Oh, good. Feathers prized by all craftsmen since antiquity for their beauty and resilience. They're valuable, said to slice through the air so quickly they're capable of being stolen, being of piercing even solid stone. Okay, very, very nice. Thank you, Mai, for all this backstory. Appreciate it. Uh-oh. Shit. Oh man, I don't have vengeance mode yet. I'm gonna learn how Red 13 works, I swear to god. Whee! Yes, Barrett. He gets mad dash by default now. Oh, counter in mid-air, boys! Don't overdo it. Bonus round. Oh my god, dude. Stardust Ray is insane. Yeah, the speed and the gap closers, we just played a whole bunch of the OG game, right? Or of Remake Part 1. And being able to close in on enemies is dramatic now. I'm sorry I'm doing this. I'm just very curious. Eventually, I will, I will find a settlement. Yeah, so this is running at about 1440p right now. This is not 4K. Not at all. So, long story short, graphics mode, dynamic between 4K and 1440p. Something in between. When, it, when there's too much geometry in an area like this, uh, it gets a little soft, right? It actually, I'm actually seeing it get a little soft. But if you're in performance mode, it clearly is dropping down to like 1080p or something like that. Uh, meaning that when you clear up and get to an area that doesn't have as much density, it'll probably be much closer to 4K. Because this is looking really crispy right here. shit around. 
Carcophonic Corvid. That thing looks dangerous. God, ow, fuck, ow, fuck, dude. Damn, Cloud is almost dead. Cast Comet on this bitch. Cool! Cool! Death from above, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, man. going through it. So am I, apparently. I'm getting my ass kicked. This music, dude. Fred, are you not casting Comet? I could have we were here. Oh, did you run out of MP? Let it rip. Right. Well, that was cool. Well, that was cool. Okay. The cause the, the backline characters actually do stuff. It's not a ton of stuff, but they do stuff. Cloud Tifa Aerith. They do damage, yeah. They don't do a ton of damage. It's like one tenth. But here's here's a cool thing. I don't know if you guys saw it from the previous gameplay stuff we did. I was fighting the first boss of the game. And my party was about to die, right? So what happened when you're in a dire situation? It, it can only happen once per encounter? Your backline character can come in and do a synergy ability with you. They can like pop in for a second and help you out. And I think that's sick. I'm like, damn, that's fucking cool. Only in a moment where you're gonna get killed, like you're close to dying, they can come in and be like, obviously they're back there watching you die that's messed up. They can... They can help you out. <laughs> Something good? Ten manifestations of the planet's favor. Oh, good. I love that. Uh, are summons any battle now? Well, I mean, we just saw a summon was popping up. So I'm thinking it's any battle now. Oh, let's check out the map. Yeah, that's a good call. 
It's just this area. No, they let us look around. We're getting some shit, dude. Dude, we can't even look up. So here's the problem. This, all this shit over here is like the midway point leading to this area. This is like the midway point of uh, the grasslands. In fact, no, this is the fucking, this is the marsh. I'm an idiot. This is actually the Zolom Marsh. So, again, uh, story. Follow the rubbed individuals. Dawn of a new era. Intel. Here's all the stuff we can do in here. Chadley. I gotta go find some other thing for him. You gotta fight the Wimzelet, which these are the guys that give you um, white wind, I believe. In OG FF7? I think this is technically them, but this is like a variant of it. This thing looks crazy. The silver chimera. What the hell? I'll run around. Other oh, weapon nodes. Um, I don't know because the only way you can do that is. Hold on a second. Material and equipment. Cloud. No, it's locked. Can't change any of it. Can't change any of it. Can't do anything about it. Uh, combat settings. Cloud. I can just change shit here. Firebolt Blade. What the hell is that? I have to try that shit. Firebolt Blade. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Yeah, it's like a massive ass aerial starter. Whoa. Okay. There's a robed guy. Oh, that's incredibly good because that lets you recover ATB faster. Am I right? Thanks to where it feels that the wind is at their back. Slightly fills the ATB gauge faster. I'll take it. Back. It is back. Precision Defense Focus Materia. This game has given us some shit to work with now. Chakra ass ass morph. I'm gonna try to morph something. Yeah, this makes the timing window easier. I'm gonna try to morph something. Let's do it, chat. Let's make an attempt to morph something. This was almost impossible in the uh, September demo. Well, that guy died too fast. Cloud, you are zipping around. Do it. 
Morph his ass. Enemies too healthy to be morphed? Dude. Are you kidding me? What are we what are we talking about here, man? Hey, come back here. Where'd you go? Back here. A dog got fucking slammed. Uh-huh. Okay. Go fight these big guys. It looks like morphing is very hard. These big ass birds. Damn, it's hard to, it's hard to, um, switch off Cloud, because he's so much fun now, dude. Holy crap. You kind of want to, like, play other characters but Cloud in the remake part one, but now Cloud is ridiculously fun. It's dark. It's too dark. Good for you, little chicken. Is it possible to explain how air combos bat comes better? Yes, if you dodge and then hold down attack, you zip up to the air. Quite literally, uh, fight enemies in the air. It's dark over here. And then am I able to go to a story point? Oh, don't worry. I'm not going the obvious way we should be going, which is like over there. I'm not going the obvious way. There's a little bit of a story. There's a little bit of a story thing, not a ton. Hold on. Get a transmuter. That's my to-do list. Can I make another Kushad? I think I can. And you have to make new stuff in order to Phoenix draft. What? Revives and restores a small. Okay, Phoenix draft. Funny. It's, it is a Phoenix down. I can't help it. I. I have not determined which way I'll be playing this game yet, so I'm sorry. I'm just rolling between these two modes. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. I can't let you through. I'm sure you can. Damn, it got really crisp over here. Holy hell. I'll pet the baby chicky, Jesus Christ, chat.
Yeah, I wish we had a PS5 Pro. I do. I do. I also wish we just had a PC version, to be completely honest. Oh, I can climb that? Damn. Alpha dunk. Dive kick, I need to do focus strike. God damn. Take the leap. I'll show you what I can do. Holy shit. exactly how I thought. Whoa. This is crazy, man. This game's gonna be nuts. This is so much more polished. You ready? Come on. Get my ass kicked, though. Summon in a normal fight. There we go. Do your thing. Summon in a normal fight. Tifa is dead. Cloud is also dead. Wow. Cloud's like, dumbass. God damn, we're getting fucking trampled, dude. Well, those guys had some health on them. Do you see a major difference after the update? Yeah, it looks better. It certainly looks better. Battle the prowess, you just said you're you're dissatisfied suppression says it all. I noticed that as well. So they didn't they, they we don't have one Chadley, we have two Chadleys now. We have a chick Chadley and a Chadley Chadley. Wait, 
Do you have a new combat trial? <laughs> Wait, excuse me? I gotta go sit down on a cushion or some shit, bro. <laughs> new combat trial, huh? Where's that at? Oh my god. My choco stop is all the way down here. Yeah, I turned off the audio of the, uh, you know, the obvious stuff. I literally disabled the audio. Uh, who do I want to mess around with now? Uh, Cloud Red 13 Aerith, Cloud Barrett Red 13, Cloud Aerith Tifa. Give me, uh, hang on a second. Combat settings. Edit party. Cloud Red... And Cloud Red Tifa. Yeah. Let's do that for this crazy fight, whatever the heck this is gonna be. What the shit is going on? That was an accident, but I'll take it. They can do. They can do all the crazy shit in the air. Crazy, dude. Now's our chance. Time to end this. There. Quick. On it. Oh my god, this game is fucking amazing, bro. Oh my god. This game is fucking amazing. Holy shit. We did it. We did all the world intel here. Prevent enemies from taking flight when using Soothing Breeze. Shit. I didn't do that. You successfully played all of June on combat. Uh, something that matter, perhaps you're fatigued from battles. Then allow me to provide a massage. And how do you plan to do that? By way of resonance, of course, and I can use my gorgeous vocal vibrations. I am like, so Oh no, I'm glad I can't hear this. I'm glad I can't hear this. I'm glad. Alright, Mai, you've had your fun. Now then, your latest triumph allowed me to create a new combat trial. I hope you enjoy it. Can I get to those? Your investigations are complete. Now head to the city of Junon. Cool. Go enjoy your shit. They're like, you did it. You killed everything. Of importance. Is it looking good for you, Blitz? It's looking a lot better, I think. It's definitely a dynamic resolution. It definitely looks soft in some spots and not soft in others on 60 FPS mode. 
It has it has a little bit of variety. You killed all the local wildlife. Congratulations. Damn, that guy died much faster this time. Holy shit. Congrats, you're a poacher. Let's go look around some. Yeah, we literally have True Charge Slash Final Fantasy Edition. You know? Let me look up the guide on Red 13's combat, because I still don't understand it. Manual. Battles. Fighting as Red 13. Okay. Attack enemies and hold it down to do a spinning thing. Cool. Okay. Successfully guarding attack against attacks with R1 fills up the vengeance gauge. So any, any guard. Allowing you to turn the tide. After successfully blocking an attack, let, your, uh, let down your guard and press square to perform counter spin and lunge back. Okay. So you just need to block attacks. That's it. Not even, not even precise timing. Just block shit. Successfully guarding against attacks fills the gauge, which can use the vengeance mode for triangle, increasing his attack power and dodge speed. When in vengeance mode, use Siphon Fang, which damages an enemy to absorb their HP, and vengeance mode can be activated at any time, but it will last longer depending on how full the gauge is. Okay, so it gives him an install. You block a bunch, you get an install, and he turns into a different character. His initial abilities are Side Sidewinder and Sentinel Stance. Sidewinder sends him spinning into an enemy, dealing massive damage, a perfect finishing move. Cool. Oh, that looks like Sentinel Stance. Guarding against attacks while Sentinel Stance is active greatly fills the Vengeance Gauge. 13 cannot move during this time, but pressing square will break the stance and strike an enemy. Okay, so here's what I'm doing, chat. Here's what I'm doing. Combat settings. Red 13, set as leader. So when we get into fights, uh, we will... We will be red. Wait, this is important. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's all I wanted to see. That was it. Chadley is at the Chocobo farm for the combat trials. What? This is new to me. Oh god, I'm experiencing new things. I don't believe it. Oh god. Uh, this did not happen in the old demo. This is new to me. Oh god. You're telling me Chadley is somewhere like around here? <gasps> oh, do they have it? Wait, 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 wait. This is the thing where you upgrade your folios to do um, team shit. Buying and selling items. Okay, maybe not. This is just a selling station. It looked similar. Damn, did you guys see that texture? <laughs> Goddamn Unreal Engine, bro. Good now. Poison Chakra, Ass Ass, HP Up, Luck Up, Item Master! Okay, that was there before. Power Wrist Guards, Talisman. Alright. Chadley, where is your ass? <gasps> He's over here? What? Oh, shit! Uh, dude, this was not here in my old, in the old demo I played. This is actually new to me. Junon's Chocobo Ranch. Perhaps you were already aware, but the Chocobos here are raised on a diet of feed, seaweed, and fishbone meal. Unsurprising, given the local industry. Develop materia, fire and ice. Cool. Oh god. You know what this gives us? Oh god. Oh god, you know what this gives us? 
I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Oh, shut the hell up, Chadley. Thank you. I'm busy here. Red 13. Um... Swap. You know what this gives us? Meteor. Those length they are. Oh my god, dude. R1? <gasps> oh, thank you, game. Oh my god, I don't have to go up and down the menu the entire way to look for my materia. I can just go left and right and it categorizes by... Oh, thank Christ. Oh, thank Christ. So, uh, Comedier, right? Massive-ass Meteor spell. I have news regarding the combat simulator. Thanks to the monster data you managed to collect, I was able to devise a new challenge for you. I kindly invite you to give it a try. Uh-huh. You also have Magnify now. So wait a minute. Does it use... Oh, that's so sick how Arrow sucks them in now. So this just allows you to use Thunder... Lightning and wind, not at the same time, not like a lightning infused wind, at wind attack, but it lets you just use both of them. Okay. Arrow's a, arrow's a suck in now. Yeah, arrow was kind of useless before. It was very, very limited in usability. Potency modified by minus 60%, but at level three, it gets way better, okay. Maybe you can do double resistance against elemental? That's a good, good call. I can afford all this shit, man, right? Yeah, I literally got enough to afford all of it. If there's anything else I can do for you... Chadley, chill. Chakra and spare change? Damn, look at this move. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, synergy and ice, that's cool. Let's move Chakra over here. And let's put like fire and wait, wait, lightning and wind. With magnify? Wait, my other new magnify. Right? Uh, although I don't think anybody has healing, <laughs> right? change that. What am I doing, man? Oh, Cloud has healing, and so does Barrett. Okay. I don't know how this is going to work. We don't know. Let me know. We don't know. I'm always happy to help. We don't know. We are learning. Oh, it looks like a very soft image over here right now, right? Extremely soft. Let's just change this. You can, like, you can't even make out the details of Chadley's face. I feel like I, I have, like, the wrong pair of glasses on. That's better. Jeez, man, I'm really debating. Right, it- the, the, you can- you can definitely see. Um, sometimes it looks really blurry, and then other times it doesn't. It- and it's because it- it's- it's a dynamic resolution. So is graphics mode the way to go? I mean, not not entirely. I might do graphics for my first run. No shit. From what I've observed, so if you I actually her, might too. Who knows what sort of things you might find? All right, combat simulator. Level sync. Oh, wow. Reward ice materia, lightning materia, two stars? Series of three person battles to the team. Okay. This demo is overwhelming and it's just one small area, dude. 
new version of this song. Cool. Damn, that suck move is good. Cool. Well, how far does Wild Charge go? Oh my god. Cool. I gotta be able to get this counter in midair, right? Cool. I gotta do the meteor. Yeah, I haven't even done it yet. Oh shit. It's on you. A wild card just it gets you in. Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ. Wow. Uh, Red 13's insane. Red 13's insane. If an enemy attacks you, you become a god. Oh, that's so sick. They're all three lined up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, shit. Lightning Materia Double Star. What the hell does that mean? Tutorial assignments. L spirit up materia? Yeah, probably like it's fully upgraded all the all the way. The white squall. Let's do Cloud Tifa red. Uh oh. It's two of them at the same time. Oh shit. Well, I'll just switch to red 13 and become a god. Okay, that's good. What the fuck, bro? Why can't you start us right? Trying to, I'm trying to get this thing leveled up, sorry. Somebody heal me. Figuring shit out. God damn. Where's my siphon? 
Wow, this thing is getting bounced the F around. Oh my god, everybody's dead. Items cannot be used. Oh, fuck. She's a god. She's a god. She's a god. Don't worry about it. Was never in doubt. She's a god. I'm trying to figure out what's new gameplay-wise for Tifa. I'm gonna have to go look at her, um... Uh, let's go... Look at this. So, tutorial... Tifa. Yeah, show me what she does. Game. Let's see. Cool. So, normal attacks. After dodging and unleashing a sweeping strike capable of hitting multiple targets. Unbridled strength. The chi level and grants her access to more triangle moves. Higher chi levels increase the number of standard attacks she can do. Yeah, same as... Focus strike, she leaps backwards out of harm's way, deals a powerful strike that uh, is staggered damage. Yeah. If you dodge an attack with it, it'll fill ATB. Note that Tifa will use unbridled strength when equipped with auto unique ability materia. Oh. Well, that's cool. Well, that's cool. And then it recovered. Okay. You fuzzy fucks. Does she have a launcher like Cloud? I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, pressing triangle will unlock, unleash one of Tifa's martial arts techniques such as whirling uppercut. This unbridled strength ability increases Tifa's chi level, making more advanced techniques available to use. Omni strike with level two levels of chi, and rise and fall with three. Utilizing an advanced technique expends one level of chi. Hitting standard foes with attack techniques will increase the damage multiplier. Right, so that's normal. Oh, Unbridled Strength also now, like, knocks enemies into the air. Oh my god, dude. Dude, she's straight doing Tatsus and shit. Dude, she does Tatsus now. I don't believe it. That's so cool. This is the first time we're really getting to see all this shit, man. What else you got for me? Tifa has a variety of abilities that can increase the damage multiplier on staggered foes. Pressing triangle 
We'll unleash her whirling uppercut, Omni Strike, or Rise and Fall. Yeah, this increases the stagger bonus. I we know this. too fast. I forgot the dive kick should still be good, yeah. I'm gonna get some ice materia out of this. This is cool. Um, Synergy. You get steadfast block. Wow, you get shit from doing these fucking tutorials. You get shit from doing tutorials, dude. Try the Red 13 stuff. Deadly Dodge is automatic now, yeah. It looks like Deadly Dodge and Parry are both automatic. Bruh. We're getting spoiled here, boys. This is some spoiler territory now, dude. Oh my god. It seems like parry and deadly dodge are automatic now. Yeah, they just... The dodge attack is just the parry attack now, it seems. Um, at least it's a similar animation. And deadly dodge, like, if you dodge and then press an attack, yeah. Now you just get that. Okay. Whoa. So. Um, Sidewinder and Sentinel. Sidewinder sends Red 13. Uh, Sentinel is really good. Yeah, look at my ass. Hit my ass. Yeah, you keep hitting it. Yeah, you keep hitting my ass. You do that. I'm gonna max out this vengeance mode on you. Working. We're almost there. Damn, my dodge is huge now. Holy crap! So, this is me holding down the block, right? Vengeance mode is going up. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Hold on. Come on, dude. Wow, where's this timing at? I'll make it quick. With you. Cool. <laughs> He's all about defending. Yeah. When you're in defense stance, he gets mad buff. So successfully guarding against attack fills the vengeance gauge, increasing the attack power and dodge speed. We just read this. creates like this giant effect barrier. More hit. So I maxed out a vengeance mode. Oh my god, I'm buff as shit now. Holy crap, it makes the other moves. That thing is spinning. Only the strong survive. Dude. So when you're in vengeance mode, the range of your normal abilities gets huge. You get like twice to three times the amount of range. 
It might be a very good idea to start fights with Red 13 and just start blocking shit. How do you know how much vengeance mode you have? It literally shows the bar above vengeance mode. It shows the bar. Like, so you just see that you get it to the top. I'm gonna be switching characters. Yeah, I'm gonna be switching characters so fucking much. Synergy? Red 13 with provoke materia. Hell yeah, that's a good call. So Tifa can't get up there normally, but if I do this. Combo skills like bullet batter, for example, can be activated immediately with a single button press, repeatedly pressing the button to continue the combo. Bullet batter? Other skills like power cleave, however, require you to hold down the button. I did not know this. Press the button as the enemy attacks to activate the skills like counter fire. Cloud launch my ass. Cloud launch my ass. What can I do in the air? Oh my god, I get these in the air, dude. I get all of my crazy ass punch combos and stuff in the air. That's sort of similar to the ninja cannonball stuff from the Yuffie DLC. Yeah. <clears throat> Utilizing ATB commands marked with uh, the pips will grant will Grant character synergy. When two characters share enough synergy, you can activate their ability. These abilities do not deal tremendous damage, or not only deal tremendous damage. It's late, I'm sorry. They also apply unique buffs, such as better limit break levels, unlimited MP, or higher damage and stagger duration. Wow. The music, excuse me. Uh, repeated use of synergy abilities will increase the amount of synergy required to activate it. Oh. Thus, it is in your interest to use a variety of these commands rather than just concentrate on one. Gotcha. So they don't want you spamming just a good one. Can't even get to the dang synergy ability. The enemies die too quick. He gets extra bullets? What? Steadfast block. That's good. Show me what Barrett can do. Barrett specializes the ranged attack, R3, lock on the distant foes. Yeah, the usual. Steel skin and maximum fury. Steel skin temporarily reduces damage taken and makes Barrett less likely to be interrupted. Maximum fury consumes all ATB. He also got this. Oh, you're not letting me do the other thing. Whoa, that guy was juggled. Dude, they put they put enemy juggle states into the game way more, right? Like way more. I'm not no, I can't tell if every character has a dodge attack like Cloud does. 
Does Barrett actually get his his uh, deadly dodge attack? Overcharge, dealing massive damage and greatly filling his ATB gauge. Once used, it will need some time to be uh, unleashed again. He doesn't get anything. So maybe maybe characters don't have deadly dodge. Maybe just some characters do. Maybe some characters do. Ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> maybe only melee characters. Yeah, maybe. What the hell's going on with Aerith? We have to hurry up because uh, Nintendo Direct is about to start soon. So let's, after this, let's go fight the boss. Hold, uh, squ press square to release long range melee attacks or uh, magic attacks. Squ uh, hold square to charge Tempest. Striking an enemy with this skill fully charged will summon a fleeting familiar to assist you in combat. Okay. Oh my god, I have it. Uh, Soul Drain and Sorceress Stone. Soul Drain siphons MP. Storm is a devastating magical attack. Yes, it is. Off a bit. And it's big. Cool. Aerith's about to get even crazier. Yeah, the butterfly was a complete skill before. Now they just turned it into a thing. Some of Aerith's abilities conjure beneficial magic wards. Arcane ward automatically casts spells twice, helping you conserve ATB. The extra spells will still cost MP, but casting two spells in rapid succession doubles your magical offense. Aerith can also instantaneously warp to a conjured, uh, a conjured ward by pressing triangle. Huh. Get him. She also can do this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wait for it. Goddamn, bro. Fuck out of here. So, Radiant Ward, Arcane Ward. This shit's weird. Wow, you can dodge with it too. Oh, dude, she's nuts. She's nuts. Holy shit, dude. What the hell is going on? She's on some, like, Final Fantasy fourteen crack. And then you could run... Dude, the fact that you could run away and then dodge back to the ward is, is so cool. The enemies in this game need to be juiced. Right? They are giving us, like, a lot of shit to work with here, man. Are my trials not challenging enough? No, they're not. I think that was it, right? Like, holy shit, every, every character, I think Barrett is probably, like, the weakest one. I guess. Needless to say, Barrett seems like he has, like, the least amount of stuff, technically. I mean, but still, like, everyone gets so much shit they can do now. Okay. We're running. 
Focus on main. So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. Vegas. Shinra's always gotta have someone to stop for. It's their friggin' M.O. Yeah, kicking barrels. Kicking barrels. Completely normal behavior. Look at Junon Harbor, boys. I can't see shit! One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. That texture is not doing great back there. for it <laughs> well you know what they say can't take it with you hmm. Hmm. and Aerith to boot huh that's another half a million on top <gasps> half a million <laughs> Aerith is proud down here though we know when to turn a blind eye Consider our lips sealed. Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But over there, there's a quiet little inn where everyone's welcome. Dude, the textures are going through it. The textures are like surfing in the background. Yourselves now. I. Okay. We're getting Unreal Engine over here. Take a seat. Okay, young child. This way! Down here! Hey! Look out! Quickly! Please! Mystery lady. We don't know who she is. Never seen her before.
Mr. Dolphin, no! Hey, we're coming! Hey, Shinra's most wanted! Get rid of that thing! Say what? Ferret, focus! Get its attention! On it! Ah! Why ain't this thing ugly? Come on, get me. Oh god. Hang on. Shit. Get her off the magic. Okay. It's on you. Tifa's getting choked out up here. God damn, dude, we're getting fucked up. Thanks, Red 13, dude. Holy shit. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this guy. What the hell's focus strike? Okay, hold on a Reverse Gale. Uh, oh wow, I dodged that. Don't worry. Jesus. Shit. Uh shit. Cloud, are you back? Dude, you're not back. I don't believe you, Cloud. Failing us here, buddy. Aerith is trying to get you out. Shit ass, dude. Let's go. Two HP left. God damn it. <laughs> I had to say something, didn't I? Can you like lock onto me? Not like that! Take it over. Holy shit. Good to go. Ready. Okay, okay. Go. God damn it! Okay. Trying to do things. We're getting our ass kicked, but I'm trying to do stuff. I got launched into the grab. It just means we're going to get limit breaks to work with. Don't worry, chat. It's below us. Oh my god, you fucking... Hey, 
I understand, Tifa. Trying. I'm coming. Finish him off. Strike hard and fast. What the hell is reverse Gale? Ready when you are. Oh my God. Finally, Cloud's out of that shit. Ow. Damn, Comet is mad expensive. Stand fast. Oh boy. Now's our chance. There's a dead dog over there. About to be a dead cloud. I'm working here. I'm trying to use everything I got. We have Relentless Rush as well. Jesus Christ, bro. Ascension? Nothing personal minds to be right through it. Let's switch it up. Howling Moon? Oh, and he's dead. Oh, no, you don't. Dude, I was having so much fun just trying stuff, man. I was having so much fun just like figuring out what I can even do. One more sneak peek. One more sneak peek. Oh shit. Oh shit, I don't want to see too much. No, I'm skipping. I'm sorry. One last sneak peek. Oh shit, too many spoilers, man. Please no more. <laughs> Please no more. It's amazing, dude. Holy shit. Uh, the demo's fucking great. It's even better than what we had before. It's even, I think it's really even better. I still don't know. I'm gonna have to play through this demo again after this in 4K mode exclusively and see how I feel. I really am.